Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back. Hope you all have a fine day. So today we're gonna play some Cyberpunk on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now currently we have max settings selected, everything is set to high, apart from motion blur and all that kind of shenanigans. Also the video is set to 1920 by 1200, which is the as because of the aspect ratio of the screen. This is a 10 by 16 aspect ratio screen. Or 60 by 10 actually. 60 by 10 means it's just as tall as a 17 inch, but it's just not as wide. Now, if you're wondering what are the lights behind the laptop, I've hooked up a Philips uh, Hue with light sync, just for to make the experience a little bit more immersive. Now, I'm just gonna roam around a little and I'm gonna test some settings. I'll put them in it, like the timestamps in the description. And I hope you don't get motion sick from all the lights. I think it looks pretty good from where I'm sitting. I'm gonna go over the, um, the highest settings. I'm gonna go over DLSS, or highest settings, the highest resolution, which is 2560 by 1600. Also a 16 by 10 aspect ratio resolution. I'm gonna go over ray tracing and just show you how it performs. Now, you gotta realize that if you buy this laptop, you're gonna run the games a little bit harder than on a normal 1080p system because you're gonna be forced to use a higher resolution. Now, in itself, that isn't that much of a problem because a 3060 is a very capable card, capable card, but you do really notice like GPU intensive games like Cyberpunk or Red Dead Redemption that it can struggle a little because these are pretty incredibly heavy, especially when you turn on stuff like ray tracing. Now, I'm gonna go around this corner and I'm gonna set ray tracing. I'm gonna pause the video and we're just gonna go ray tracing without DLSS. There, I've set ray tracing on to Psycho and we're, it's gonna load in. And it's gonna become very choppy. <laughs> this is, um, with this aspect ratio, this is uh, pretty much unbearable for the system. But we have our good friend DLSS. Let's turn DLSS on. Let's put it on auto. And that makes it a little bit less choppy. It's still not perfect. I don't think this system is really that much capable of running this resolution with ray tracing and playing a game like Cyberpunk. Now, overall, I think in most games, you're really gonna love the performance on this system. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> the only downside, like I said, is for GPU intensive games, it's gonna be a little bit harder because you have to run a high resolution. Now this is not even the highest resolution. Let me quickly change it to the highest resolution for you. So here we have set it by 2560 to 1600 and prepare to cry. This is, uh, yeah, this is pretty rough on the system. <laughs> I mean, it looks great, it looks super sharp, but it's not very playable, with ray tracing on at least. Let's turn ray tracing off and keep DLSS as an auto. Now, this is a playable experience. Also, the room temperature um, of the room I'm currently sitting in is 20 degrees Celsius, and I have the box. I have a, like a little box underneath the laptop, so only the back is elevated. And I've selected the um, the boost profile. There's also whisper mode and auto mode. 
and I've selected the boost profile. So this is the maximum performance it's going to get. I also selected the dedicated GPU because it has a mug switch in the Lenovo software. And I think it's not doing a bad job. I do th really think that the game or the games you like GPU intensive games really need the tech like the LSS else. For me personally, I would really at least like 60 FPS in single player games and it's not even getting that. Maybe if we switch it back to a little less high, then it becomes even a little bit better. If you're wondering, Teriel, why aren't you just playing normal resolution? Well, like 1080p or 1440p? Well, I'll show you. If we go to 1080p, we get like, it's like squished and everything is very tall and this, this is not how you want to play. No, this this doesn't look right. <laughs> this is so weird. So let's change it back. This is why you need these resolutions. Also, if I would record in um, this kind of gameplay or this kind of resolution, it's not going to be pretty. Now, this RTX 3060 is a 130 watt. We also have, what's it called? Resizable bar enabled, which can be done via a BIOS update. Mine was already installed, so I did not bother to update the BIOS as it's not always necessary. And I think if you wanna buy this laptop, you're, you, you, I mean, you might consider if you want to play very GPU intensive games, not to buy the 3060, but to buy the 3070. That card is a little bit more capable of running these games at high, high resolution or high settings, high resolution. Now, I still think if you like lower the settings just a little, let me do that right now. Let's just put everything on low, see how that does. The game suddenly becomes super playable. So, unless you want to play Ultra Max, super high, you're gonna, you might want to consider getting a 3070. If not, if this is good for you, which also looks still pretty good. <laughs> you might be well off with a 3060. Now, that was all I had for you today. I hope you like it. If you like my content, I really love to make benchmark videos and try all the stuff, all these laptops for you guys. So you get to choose what you like. So you get a good idea of what the performance is. Also, I like doing it like this. So we don't compromise because I'm recording on the laptop. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.